And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. A living nightmare is how Deputy Secretary of State Antony Blinken describes life for religious and ethnic minorities in Iraq and Syria under Daesh's barbaric rule. At a Washington conference, he noted, however, that the global coalition's momentum against Daesh is growing and has led to significant inroads against the group's territory, its leaders, its finances, and its recruitment. Iraqi forces are now preparing for the greatest battle against Daesh to date, the liberation of Mosul, a city that represents Iraq's tradition of diversity and pluralism, where for thousands of years, Christians, Yazidis, Turkmen, Sunni, Shabak, Kurds, Shia have all made their home. Deputy Secretary Blinken emphasized the critical importance of the Iraqi government's providing a fundamental accommodation in which all of Iraq's communities believe they have a future in Iraq. All Iraqis, be they Sunni, Shia, Kurd, Christian, or any other, have to be convinced that the state that they've been asked to fight for, the state they've been asked to remain a part of, will stand up for their rights and their equities, that they can advance their interests more effectively as citizens of a united Iraq than as supplicants of other regional powers or members of isolated competitive blocs in a fractured and weakened state. Countries that invest in the prosperity, in the security, in the diversities of their societies will thrive in the 21st century. That is the future, Deputy Secretary Blinken said. And with international assistance, it is the future that Iraqis can make possible for their communities and for their country. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.